Warren is ready for the next chapter in her life, and the people who helped make it possible gather with her today for a ribbon cutting on her new home. It was a hard, it was very hard. Through the eight years of heartaches and hardships, Deborah Warren never gave up on the dream of owning her own home. After inheriting a little place off Waldo Road, she had to fight foreclosure only to realize it was in too bad of a shape to fix. Let it go. And that was the hardest part. I didn't go because it was so many uh, memories there. Memories of the family she lost during the fight for the home. My husband passed away first. Then my mother-in-law died ten, 10 months later. It was adamant that her mother-in-law would want her to fight to get the house back, and that's exactly what she did for the family. One, two, three. All right. Today, Deborah has tears of joy as she walks the steps into her totally rebuilt home. Deborah Warren was living in a deteriorating home, but today she's the proud owner of this new home. Through the process, the legal process, we learned that the home had been illegally or fraudulently stripped away. And so then we engaged in a complicated legal battle to get the property back to the family. And once the property securely belonged to Deborah, the city came up with a new plan to provide assistance. It was just in really, really bad shape, which is why the city decided not to renovate the home, but instead to bulldoze the entire home and rebuild it from the ground up. Deborah plans to enjoy her new house with her children and grandchildren. And um, I'm just glad to be home. The project costs just under $100,000. The city is able to tackle certain home renovations, big and small, thanks to federal and state grants to improve housing.